Right, in this video, we're going to look at how to use an acoustic guitar with our Levin rack. So first off, when I say acoustic guitar, I'm referring to a guitar that doesn't have like a piezo um, pickup or any sort of output on the body. This is just a plain acoustic guitar, no pickups, no way to actually plug it into our 11 rack guitar input. So instead we're going to use a microphone. And in this case, we're going to use just one microphone and just the input of the 11 rack. Obviously, if you have a mic pre, which I've done a video on how to use a mic pre with the 11 rack, um, if you want to use the mic pre, maybe use one or two microphones, the same concept will apply. You'll simply change the exact uh, input that you are using. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've already got Pro Tools pulled up here and I've created some mono and stereo audio tracks. We already have our microphone plugged into our 11 rack. This is a condenser microphone, so the 48 volt is on. So the general way you're going to use your acoustic guitar with your 11 rack is obviously with the microphone input and uh, setting your input on, a, on your track, on a mono audio track. I wouldn't name this one. Let's call it mic. Okay. And come up to your input and choose mic as the input. Now this will be, obviously, it should be obvious, this will be your microphone input of the 11 rack. So now if we record enable that track and then I strum here, you'll see that input showing up in Pro Tools on our mic track now. So our microphone track is our dry track and you would compare that to the guitar input of the 11 rack because that is also the dry track. So our mic is just the dry track. So if we start recording, which I'll just record here a little bit, let's go ahead and record. stop that. So what we recorded was just the mic input, just the microphone input. So our dry acoustic guitar, no effects on the uh, guitar track that we recorded. Now that is the general way in which you're going to record an acoustic guitar with no effects, nothing like that on there, just your acoustic guitar and your microphone. So that's how you get your dry track. Now we could actually take this dry track here, we recorded in Pro Tools, and we could reamp that through the 11 rack. And in order to do that, it would be the, exactly the same uh, way that I describe in the reamping video. So if you wanna know how to reamp it, just watch that video and apply those same principles to routing your acoustic track through the 11 rack to get the effects. Okay, but now what I'm going to show you is how to actually record your acoustic guitar with the effects on, okay? So I'll pull up our 11 rack editor, which I have here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is change your rig input to microphone. But before you do that, all right, come up here to where it says volume and mute your mains and also mute your headphones, okay? Because if you have your amplifier on, more than likely you're, you're going to get a squeal, which, you know, if you want me to show you, I'll show you. It's going to be loud. Switch it over to mic. Of course, I have to uh, record enable the track first. Okay, so that's what will happen. So that is why I would suggest before you switch this to microphone, go ahead and mute your phones and your mains and on your rig input again we want this to microphone because we're using an acoustic guitar recorded through a microphone and we want to run that through the effects of the 11 rack we're using our microphone as the input to the 11 rack effects and the same principle would apply if you want to use uh, the mic input for vocals and things like that but right now we're going to focus on acoustic guitar so as i just showed you um, with the amp on, you're probably going to get some feedback. Of course, this uh, varies by the amp. This is a high gain amp. So if I would turn down the drive way down and the volume way down, then I could probably unmute my phones and mains. So keep in mind that you have to adjust the overall volume of your rig. And you, you probably won't want an amp, but you may want to amp uh, specifically something lower gain usually, but you can use higher gain amps for weird effects and things like that. But let's set this up in a way uh, that would be you know, more usable. So I'll turn off the distortion and um, we have a chorus already pulled up here. So I'll just dial that up a bit. Okay, uh, let's do some flanging, delay, turn the delay on. I don't want a lot of delay and then reverb. Okay, 
Now that would be a pretty good chain for an acoustic guitar. It would give it some width, some, a little bit of delay, just a really cool, uh, sort of like a chimey sound. And then we had to set up our track in Pro Tools. And you may think, okay, well, I'll just choose the mic input. Again, the mic input is the dry input. What we want is the affected sound. So if you want the affected sound, you'll have to come to a mono or stereo audio track. And you could use either one if you want mono, just use a mono track. And for your input, you would choose 11 rig, either left or right. If you want a stereo track, which is what I'm going to use, uh, then you'll choose your input to be 11 rig, left, right, because our microphone is running through our rig. So therefore we want the rig input for the input to our track, okay? So now I can monitor this track, or actually let me go ahead and record and enable that track. Now you're not going to hear that as I'm playing here. I'm actually going to cut in what I record, okay? Now while you're doing this, while you're setting up your acoustic patches, which, you know, you could save this as an acoustic rig and recall it later on. As you're setting this up, you're going to want to wear headphones. I'm not wearing headphones because I have a couple cameras rolling here of my speakers and I just don't need them uh, right now. But when you're setting these up, you'll have to use headphones so you can actually hear the input from your microphone running through your rigs without getting feedback from your speakers. So I have my uh, speakers muted there. If I unmuted them, you're gonna get, you can kind of hear it, but then everything's getting fed back and we're getting a feedback loop, okay? So I'll just cut in exactly what I record here. So let's go ahead and record again. Our track input is the 11 rig left, right, because we're using a stereo audio track. The input to our rig is mic because we're using a microphone for the input of that rig and our track is armed. So now we can go ahead and record and hear what the acoustic guitar sounds like running through these effects, our chorus, flanger, delay, and reverb. So I'll just go ahead and record a little bit here. Okay, go ahead and hit stop there. So as you could hear, those effects really open up uh, your guitar sound, your acoustic guitar sound. So you're not limited with the 11 rack to only using an electric guitar and using the effects only with an electric guitar. You can use the effects with an acoustic guitar. You notice that I bypassed the amp and cabinet. Maybe you want to leave the cabinet on. You could totally leave the cabinet on if you wanted. You could even turn the amp on and maybe use a lower gain uh, amplifier, which those tend to work pretty well. You can of course switch up the cabinet types and your microphone types and the uh, position that they're using if of course your cabinet's on. And of course adjust your parameters of things like delay, reverb, and uh, stuff like that. And uh, you know you could do things like distortion if you want some distortion on there. I'll just pull this up. I have no idea how it's going to sound. We mute this track. We'll pull up a different track here. Record enable that. Uh, let me just record a little bit. Okay, so that sounded, uh, you know, whatever. But the point I'm trying to make is you can be really creative with the 11 rag and with your uh, acoustic guitar recorded through a microphone and ran through the 11 rag effects. You know, you could get all kinds of really cool effects and uh, different sounds, tones, and textures by routing your acoustic guitar through the 11 rack effects. And as I mentioned earlier, you can actually record your dry track, which is the mic track here, okay? That's the dry track. And then uh, say you don't know exactly what sound you want right now. Well, you don't have to choose now. You could actually reamp that sound, that dry mic sound later on through the 11 rack and choose your in tone that way you could even blend in the dry mic track with the affected sound if you want so uh, let's just look at this one more time this time i'm going to set up our mic track which is our dry track i'm using a different track so i can cut these in later on for the video okay so there's our mic track that's dry let me go ahead and name this dry just so we can see that and then I'll set up another stereo audio track. Again, it can be mono audio track. And since we're using stereo effects, I figured why not use a stereo track? But again, you know, you can double track it with mono 
mono tracks as well. It, you know, it just really depends on what you want. But we'll just use a stereo track and we'll call this a guitar for acoustic guitar. Okay, make sure our input is 11 rack left, right. Okay, those two tracks are right up here. So what we're going to do this time is just as when you record your electric guitar with the 11 rack and you record the dry guitar input and the dirty or wet sound, we're going to do the same thing using an acoustic guitar and a microphone. So our microphone up here is the dry input and our guitar, this is the output of the 11 rack, the affected track. So go ahead and arm both of those tracks. Let me pull up my 11 rack editor. Okay, make sure the distortion's off. I don't want that on. All right. You know, how we have it set up here is okay. Make sure these tracks are solo, just so I'm not hearing anything else. And then we'll go ahead and record. And now we're going to be recording our dry track and our affected track at the same exact time. And again, you should really be wearing headphones while you're doing this as well. So I'll just play a little bit. So there we go. Now we have actually recorded our dry sound and our dirty sound at the same time. Now through the video, I switched back and forth. That's what I'm planning on doing. I'll switch back and forth between just the dry and the affected so you can hear the difference. And once again, we used a, uh, of course, we use a mono track for our microphone track for a dry track. And then we use a stereo track for the wet track. Now you don't have to use a stereo track for, for your affected track. You can also use a mono track. If we're talking electric guitar, more than likely you're going to want to uh, be using uh, mono tracks for your affected sound, okay? Because you're going to be wanting to pan those and double track those. And double tracking with a stereo track is really gonna get muddy uh, really, really quick because it's not even really true stereo because the guitar is a mono source of sound. Okay, so I believe that covers everything on how we would use an acoustic guitar with a microphone and our 11 rack. Again, you'd want mic input for your rig input. You'd want mic in for your dry guitar sound in Pro Tools. And you'd want 11 rig either left or right or left or right if you're using a stereo track. You'd want that as your input for your affected track. So just you know, remember those few things and you'll be set to record your acoustic guitar in Pro Tools and get all kinds of cool, crazy sounds 
with your 11 rank. Go check it out, go try it out for yourself right now.